Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are picking up the Jordan Lake Adventure route. So I started this at the beginning of summer and I intended to make this series all through much faster than I did. So apologies on that, but here we are with section two. And I want to interrupt this video to say that the bridge, which was the whole point of this section, has been closed. We can see this video here from CBS 17. If you're in Chatham County, a traffic alert that you need to know about the Rocky River Bridge on, on Chatham Church Road is closed effective immediately. It's because of safety concerns from the Department of Transportation. Some of the steel components have deteriorated. That bridge, by the way, is pretty old. It's 104 years old. The DOT inspects bridges at least every two years. So, unfortunately, it appears that the residents that lived along that road had petitioned several years ago not to tear down the bridge and build a new one and it looks like just a couple months ago they found out that this during the inspection that this bridge is uh, not safe for use so do with that do with this what you will um, the bridge is closed for right now and I'll post an update if it reopens but just know that before planning your trip or watching this video um the whole entire map has actually been up and it's been under the description of the first one so this is the second video in that series um here we're picking up from where we left off we're starting at the downtown square of pittsburgh so in section one you might have come uh through 64 and then down 15501 to here maybe you stopped and got food at um at allen's on barbecue so this is section two We'll pick up at uh, at the courthouse here, and all we're gonna do is go straight around it down 64. I had a lot of, um, I was very conflicted about what I wanted to do with this section. If I really wanted to make it go down 64 for you know this like five to ten miles or whatever, or what I want to do, and I thought this is, and you know. I'll do this if you want to hit some extra gravel roads and see some nice country homes and stuff like that. So you could just cut straight down, go south on 15501 and take that exit um, and just go straight to the bridge. But if you want some additional gravel roads, then this section is for you. So you would come down this way, down 15501 and um, I'm filming this right at rush hour if you can't tell. Um, and then you'll take this exit. So take that exit if you want to skip the 64 and some gravel roads. Take this way if you want to do it. Um, I was also considering if I wanted to add another place. So I decided I'm not going to put it on the route. I'm just going to make it like a, uh, something I'll tell you about and like a point of interest if you want to take um, like an extra section of route. Like if the route's not long enough for you, then take this extra section. Um, the place is called Pick and Pig, P-I-K, and then the letter N, and then Pig. Um, and so, that is on a grass airport, and it's a barbecue place. They, like, smoke their meat, kind of old school, like, wood fire for a real long time. So, if you don't want Allen Sons with the timing of this trip, or this, doing this route for you, if it doesn't work well for that, consider going down, um... A little bit past Sanford it's quite a bit of a detour but consider that if you're looking for a really good unique barbecue spot on a grass airport watch the airplanes come in get some good barbecue um, but otherwise I'm gonna turn this off and we're just gonna head down 64 and I'll pick this back up when we get to our first gravel road it'll be Huckleberry Farms that you want to take the left at um, if, that, if you're looking for your point of where to turn Alright, so, picking back up, um, this is our left turn here, as I told you, like, nice, beautiful countryside. If you take this road down there, it takes you through some nice neighborhoods and through some real back roads where it's just a bunch of cows and stuff. So, the sign you're looking for is the Huckleberry Trail Farm sign. And 
And like I said in the past video, you'll definitely want to watch for some gravel on this road. And we're looking for, I believe it's called J. Shambly Road. You'll notice it because it's going to be our gravel road we're taking a left on to. Alright, J. Shambly Road. I haven't been down this road in a while, so um, not sure what to expect as far as big, you know, potholes and areas that are washed out and stuff like that. So um, no guarantees that this road will be in anything similar to this condition when you come down it. So funny story about how I discovered this road. Um, I was actually out on my R3, so you know, little sport bike, and. Uh, I was riding down that road because I was like, oh, this is a great twisty road. And I saw this road and I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, go see how long it is. And as it turns out, this road was a lot longer than I really ever wanted to go on on a sport bike. Um, and it was like such a hot summer day, I remember. Um, so, yeah, definitely infinitely better conditions to, to travel this road on a dual sport honestly just soaks it all right up feels really good and these are you know these are uh those tires that are just 80 20s so nothing crazy needed for this road just gotta love going down a back road gravel road seeing the horses little ponds all the stuff people have. It's so nice. Just so relaxing of a little route. All the deer back there. back onto the pavement so the the whole point of this route really was just go ride an extended length gravel road and be able to um, get to this bridge so up here we're gonna go look at this bridge it is oh, look at all those cows the baby cows um, so we're gonna go look at this bridge it's a single lane bridge gravel road leading to it nice place to stop and take a quick photo of your bike it is a one lane bridge so you know be conscious of that that you don't want to hold up traffic or anything like that just parking on it uh, but nice little thing so if you if you wanted you could cut off this whole section of the trip and just go straight down through the downtown circle of pittsburgh um, down to this bridge so anyway I'm gonna just time lapse this and we'll pick back up when we get to the bridge all right so we're coming up on this bridge here I hope that you've enjoyed oh no road closed to through traffic um, I guess we're gonna go see. I've never seen that this has been closed before. Oh, nuts. Well, it appears that the bridge is temporary, temporarily closed. Um... So, we will not be going across it. Um, huh, we'll have to go around. Well, terribly sorry for that disappointment. I did not expect the bridge to be randomly closed. I wonder, uh, 
I wonder if it's like a structural integrity issue or what, but it can carry a motorcycle, right? But I don't know if you saw, it had a giant concrete block on the other side. It's just a sign on this side, I could have moved it. Giant concrete block on the other side. So we will go around and take a look at it and I'll show you kind of what this route would be if they hadn't have closed the road. All right, so we got around, but as we can tell, um, you know, close to through traffic so I will keep an eye on this bridge and come check on this every so often and see or maybe I'll look online see if they have plans to reopen this bridge I would imagine they have to be planning to um, reopen this bridge because I mean this is just a road that connects like this neighborhood and stuff maybe they're gonna replace it with a newer nicer bridge or something but anyway i'll keep an eye on this and keep you posted um hopefully hopefully this route or this section of the route isn't completely shot because of a uh, a bad bridge or something like that but we'll come down here and we'll take a look at it and i'll show you So they just have the road completely closed. They don't even want us getting close to it. So I'm just going to respect that, I guess. We saw it from the other direction. Um, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll see if they, uh, if they decide to reopen that. It says permanently closed on Google, but um, I guess the government could have other plans. So I will keep you all updated. And we will revise this section of the route if we need to. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next section of the route.